Hey, how's it going? I thought I'd make a quick little informative video about a piece of software you might want to know about if you play AQ Worlds, since AQ Worlds is capped at 24 FPS. This might be helpful. Let's go through it. Okay, what we're talking about today is lossless scaling. It's an application you can use on your PC, and that doesn't work on mobile or anything like that, and you're going to need some sort of GPU to do this. It might work with the integrated graphics. I don't think it will. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you tried that. But you can see I've used this for 39 hours. I've used it quite a bit already. Uh, the application, I was going to make a video about this for AQ Worlds specifically, since that's what this channel is about. Uh, but the application was not working well with AQ Worlds before. Uh, it was a lot of artifact, a lot of visual artifacts, a lot of, it was just, it. you couldn't actually play with it reasonably. It, it did make an improvement, but it wasn't enough where you'd actually want to install it and use it continuously. Now, they updated the application, as you can see, on January 5th, so kind of recently. And with this update comes significant improvements in quality, performance, and latency. Uh, and I just tried with AQ Worlds tonight, and it's a lot, lot better. Uh, now, this application is not free. It will run you at like $8 or uh, well, $9 Canadian, $5 US, something like that. So, yeah, uh, I think it's worth it. Honestly, especially if you play like older games, this is what I, I think the best use case for this is not something like Cyberpunk like they're advertising here. That has built-in frame gen in it already. That's probably better than what this is. I Don't quote me on that, but uh, <laughs> it probably is. But it's better for like old games, like 2D games, like say you're playing like a Pokemon ROM on like an emulator or something like that. This can make that quite better with the frame generation stuff that it has. And uh, having latency in a Pokemon game doesn't really matter, right? Like it's not an FPS game, it's not a racing game, it's not something like that where you need um, you need the responsiveness and you don't want the latency because it will add latency even to AQ Worlds. You'll notice it a little bit. Now I've been messing around with it a little bit today, and these are settings I kind of come up with for it uh, using the new 3.0 version, which is a lot better than the 2.01. Uh, I set max latency at two, but I'll probably put that back down to one, and that's about it. Windowed mode legacy is probably important. Uh, don't mess with the scaling mode, just leave that auto aspect ratio. Uh, scaling type, you could probably mess around with that and find a better one if you like, but I'm just using the FSR one here. Uh, it's kind of got a little bit too much sharpness on it. I might swap that to like a bilinear or something like that, but it's not too bad for an, of an upscaler there. And uh, just the three points is most important. And the frame generation, you want to make sure that's on and set to two. Uh, when I set to anything above two, of just like crashes like it doesn't crash the game but it like freezes the game uh so i it used to be i think they i think with the 2.0 model it might work better for if you want a higher frame rate but the 2.0 model was really bad with the menus and stuff in the game naked worlds so probably stick with just double fps which is double of 20 it's only 48 fps you know double of 24 but 48 it's a lot better than 24 uh and then of course they're generated frames so uh, there's a debate right now what is a real frame because technically when you when your GPU puts out a, a normal frame that you're used to right is that a real frame it is uh, and the ones that are generated with the scaling are not but people argue about this anyway so you just click scale then you click on the application that you want to scale which would be AQ worlds in this case and it'll change uh, so it makes a full screen takes the window out and you'll notice the game gets a lot smoother. This might not show up on the video because of how OBS captures and stuff like that. But if you look at something like a menu, if you're used to how the AQ Worlds menu looks at 24 FPS, it is definitely running at a lot smoother. You're, you can definitely notice that. If you go into a room, I like I'm on a server that's kind of dead right now, so I'll have to go in the battle on. I'd like to use Yolgar for this, but... You'll see in a room like this, we're down to 7 FPS. Now, it's going to struggle when you get the lower frames because it still has to generate frames. So it's generating... Uh, so instead of 10 FPS, you'll have 20 because it's 2x scaling it, right? If you have 4 FPS, it, it'll give you 8. So it's you're still going to have a low frame rate if your base frame rate is low, of course. But as you can see with my movement here, this is, doesn't really look as bad as 8 FPS. Now, your character is still kind of lagging and slow because it's slow because of the frame rate, right? But if you're doing stuff like menus with the FPS, it's a lot easier to navigate a menu. It doesn't lag as much. You can use that a lot better. You're still going to get that base lag, of course, because it has to take the information from somewhere. 
but it's I uh, see I have eight FPS and moving the menu and let's turn it off and let's look at the menus with the same frame right here you'll see now here it is with it off let's unscale that close that so we're actually getting a little bit more FPS see my character movement like that it's a little worse but it's still moving slow so you can't it's you can't really tell it's gonna be like stuff like this yeah so it looks quite a bit worse so it's still usable not too bad but it's smoother and it's gonna be hard to tell in video uh here but it's it's quite a bit smoother. it's quite a bit smoother uh here's some combat with the scaler turned on right now uh, you can see there's no artifacts or anything there used to be in combat i was going to make a video about this before and i just it was too many bugs it was too it was too like unplayable but you could definitely use the scaler now if you want to try out some frame generation aq worlds and now keep in mind before you buy this uh because I, I know i'm kind of recommending it in this video and i will probably use it to be honest uh <laughs> i will use this i'll let you know if i'll continue to use it in the streams and stuff but uh I would, there might be a way that to just inject the DLSS frame gen into any application soon. I don't know if that'll work with AQ Worlds, but with the update at the end of the month, they're doing for DLSS to up to 4.0. It kind they kind of worded it. They were very vague, but they kind of worded it like they're, they're going to allow you to just put that into any application or any game. So that might be a better solution than this, but this application is still good. And it's going to be good for other things like older ROMs and stuff where that DLSS stuff might not work. And it, what NVIDIA was saying, that might not actually be the case either. It might only be for certain games still. But anyway, so I thought I'd mention that just in case because this application might become obsolete if NVIDIA updates their stuff enough. But, you know, that's you're waiting for eggs to hatch at that point. You can use this right now. So, yeah, that's the video. Uh, you might want to try out the frame gen and stuff. Here, let me turn it off really quick, just for a little apples apples. All right, here's with it off, unscaled. And we click back in. And there you go. So, yeah, like I said, you're watching a video of it, so it's not going to be as, like, you're not going to really notice with the button clicks and the timings and the... What it is, but it does feel pretty smooth with it on. And this isn't the lowest frame rate situation either. It gets lower than this, so... <laughs> 14 FPS is pretty good in AQ Worlds. That's, oh yeah, you can see, oh, it chugged there. Yeah, yeah, we didn't really get that, oh yeah. Actually, I'm noticing it, so. Anyway, it's not gonna make a massive difference, but it might make your game a little bit smoother. You might wanna try it out. If you had it before and you didn't like it, because I know some people already have lost the scaling, check out the update, because the update's pretty good. It act like the menu works now, and this, when you scroll the menu before with the lossless scaler, it would it would be all types of artifacting and it would like lag and ch chunks of like image would stay and it was really bad uh but now it actually is smooth so it's turned off right now but you know what i'm saying all right that's all for me thanks for tuning in thanks for watching and uh, yeah, let me know if you tried it out let me know how you like it uh and uh, yeah i'll see you guys all in the next one have a have a good rest of your day Bye bye